What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's last night. I'm recording this video on January 1st, 2023 and you'll probably see some other videos that were pre-recorded but I wanted to go ahead and release this one because I've been excited to get this one in. I love my old lights. But like I said, I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody had fun and I hope you're not too hungover going back to work today. So, uh, let, you know, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the Olight i5R <clears throat> in the um, the plum purple. Sorry, my voice is a little little raspy today. I don't I don't know what's going on to be honest. Um, <clears throat> but we'll just go over the packaging here for a second. Here you go. Here's your tech specs. I'll touch on these again. Pause if you want to read that. Here you go. My serial number is eighty one forty one out of 10,000 made. You know, I had a I had a viewer tell me if I open this very carefully. Oh. Thanks for the pro tip. <laughs> I had somebody tell me that if you open it from the bottom, you don't have to destroy the box. That's cool. That's cool. Shout out there. I'll have to uh, I'll have to look up your name again and then we and then I'll give you a uh, give you a proper shout out. So, in the box cord USB-C well USB A to USB-C <clears throat> please all light USB-C to USB-C please USB-A is such old technology uh, here you go here is your manual move my finger pause if you want to read that da -da 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 there you go insert elevator music let me get this out of the way so this flashlight or this this Olight, I'll say we'll just go ahead and say Olight. This Olight goes for forty dollars right now, uh, standard price on uh, Olight's website. Here you go, read me. All right, uh, so forty bucks, and uh, you know, like I like I say in all my videos, there's there's ten percent off coupons everywhere you look. So please get you a get you a coupon before you uh, pay full price. Definitely support Olight, but they offer so many discounts. They they want you to have a discount serial number. Ah, uh, focus. There it is. 8141. Um, this is this is pretty nice. I like. I mean, you know, I'm probably it probably isn't gonna make its way into my pocket, but it probably make its way into my wife's pocket. Um, so let me go ahead and get. Yeah, there's the Olight potato chip. There it is, get that out of there. So, let's go ahead and talk battery. This is another one of the 1420 um, rechargeables with the USB-C, right there. There you go. And we'll do a quick look at the battery, focus. There you go, 1420. Uh, this was a, you know, I don't know if this comes fully charged, but just, just for the camera, we'll do this. I've got a USB-C hooked up right here. You do get a red light whenever you're charging it, and you get a green light when it is charged. Um, as far as like the charging time goes, for me, yeah, typically hour and a half ish. But I, I, I yeah, I'm one of those that doesn't really ever run mine fully dead. So you, you know, there's that. Um, <clears throat> no, well here we go. We'll see inside the battery compartment. If we can, uh, probably not, super dark, but just know it looks good in there. Here you go. Here's the bottom to your tail, your tail switch. Very nice. Everything looks good. O-ring seems good. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and slide him in. Hopefully he's got a little, a little bit of charge. Uh, so we'll get one more up close look and then we'll go over uh, fire firing <laughs> fire uh, no firing modes and uh, this this is your like your standard i5r uh, i5 there we go uh, i5 a little bit bigger than the i3s so this guy at max beam is 350 lumens and then um, you get about a 209 feet throw distance and then if we want to do low light, which you have your momentary, I'll go over that in a second. So low light, 15 lumens, uh, not a great moonlight mode, but you know, it's just a two mode flashlight. I mean, we're talking 
thirty to forty dollars on uh, you know i five r i five r models, um, and then if you double click, you get your uh, three hundred and fifty lumens, and it will drop to one hundred and fifty lumens after ten minutes, and then it'll run. Or excuse me, uh, it will drop from three fifty to one fifty after ten minutes of use on three fifty, and then at one fifty you'll get about one hundred and seventy minutes. And then if you run it on 15 lumens, you get 37 hours. So if you, like myself, if you really enjoy the moonlight mode, you'll charge this every once in a while. <laughs> uh, and, and I'll go over some things I hate about this flashlight as much as, you know, as well as some things that I love about it. A uh, couple more tech specs. This is IPX rated. So you do get some, some waterproofing there and I wish I had a scale. I do not have my scale. Uh, Olight says 2.12 ounces, which is probably pretty accurate. They also say length is three and three quarters. That looks accurate as well. And body diameter is supposed to be about half an inch, uh, or 0.7, excuse me. Um, that looks pretty accurate as well. So that is your techie speckies. Now let's go on over to see, um, well, let's see if this knurling, yep, yeah, knurling looks the same as far as on the tail switch to your standard i5R, or, you know, i5T, there we go. Looks pretty close. Uh, it has the same double helix milling going around the body. And actually, I say the same, it, it, it isn't the same. Uh, on this this copper I don't know if I I don't know my shipwrecking might might make this kind of hard to see so if you look at the milling on here you have a thick line and then you have a skinnier line whereas on the plum you have uh, the same uh, same measurement or you know the the double helix it's the same as far as the lines go so <clears throat> I don't yeah, you don't notice a difference in grip. So as far as like size goes, they are the same size. Yes, yes. Okay, so we'll do size comparisons here in just a second. Uh, this has your normal tail switch, just like any of the of the other i fives. Um, you have the click for moonlight, and then you have the double click to go to your high power. And then if we momentary, so that is pressing the button down, but not clicking. So you'll know when you click it because it's audible. So momentary on 15 lumens, double click. And then there's your momentary on 350 to 150 ish based on battery life. <clears throat> so there is your functions. That is how she works. And we already had her up against another i5. Look like the same body size. So I don't necessarily need to put that guy back up there. Um, so how about next to the Baton 3? See, Baton 3 is a much better carry profile. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me take a drink before I die on camera. Okay. Oh, oh man. I hope Red Bull gives me wings today. Uh, how about next to an i3E? <laughs> Alright, let's just leave these like this. So then we've got Arcfield which is, eh, it's a thick boy. Arcfield's kind of thick, but you can see. I, I mean, let me move these down just a hair. And then you've got your i3T tall. So it is right about in the middle. And if, I, if I'm being honest, uh, I've, I've carried my Arcfield for a little bit, a little bit over a month now. Um, I've, thir I've thoroughly enjoyed my Arcfield. I, I'm, I'm going to do a video on this. This is just a quick, but you know, I, I really do think after carrying the arc field for so long, I do enjoy the I fives the most. And I, I, this hasn't made it to my pocket. It, it's just too small. I, I, it's too small for me. And it, you know, I, I enjoy, I really enjoy the tail switch. Which I know, I know the arc field doesn't have that, but that's that's also one of my gripes. So we'll we're gonna have a gripe video soon. <laughs> we'll talk about my favorite my favorite uh, Olights and stuff like that. But 
the skinny on this is it is pretty much the same as the other i5Ts. It does have a little bit different milling as far as the double helix pattern goes than your standard i5T. Um, I, I'm going to get one of the, oh God, what do they call it? Uh, I5 RHCRI. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those in so I can compare these and then we can we can kind of just see what it looks like as far as in comparison to this guy. Um, all in all, you know, this is a nice light. I didn't, I forgot, I didn't really, there you go. If you wanted to see that, I didn't really go over the front bezel and the tail switch. You have your standard, there you go, standard O-Light tail switch. That, I believe, has not changed. Yeah, looks the same, which is okay. It's a, it's a great tail switch. It's height-wise, same, same pocket clip. All right, so <clears throat> since we were talking about gripes, let's talk about a gripe about these. I love these lights. Uh, the i5s, by far my favorite. It's what got me into Olight in the first place. Uh, I had a friend gift me this, a very good friend. I uh, haven't heard from you in a while, buddy. Um, but this... This, I was gifted this, and it was in copper, and uh, it kind of started my journey down the Olight rabbit hole and the copper rabbit hole. And I shipwrecked this because it means a lot to me, so I, I you know, I probably should have just left it alone, but I cleaned it real good, I shipwrecked it. I'm gonna go over a tutorial video on how to do that. But in all the time I've carried these, I've learned I hate the placement of these clips. Um, and so, that being said, the reason why I hate that is because uh, with my job, with my day job, uh, I get up and I get down, I, you know, I get up, I sit down a lot, and with this clipped in my pocket, just sitting there, it, my hip or my belt or something always, always, always fires this. I'm constantly pulling it out of my pocket, seeing if it's, seeing if it's turned on, and usually it is. So, um one of the things I started doing is I started carrying this uh, tail switch down so you know kinda like how you would mount this on a hat I don't have a hat in here I'd show you but you know pretend pretend this little uh, you know this little bit of leather is a hat this is your bill you can slide it onto your hat and there you go so that that's how I started carrying I started carrying it lens up and I, I didn't fire it a single time doing that. I don't care to carry it this way just because I'm, I'm so afraid of something, you know, you drop something and this is just hanging, dangling out of your pocket. Cause it will, I mean, you get what, if you carry this, this, this way, you have a solid, just about an inch. So you have just about a solid inch hanging out of your pocket, which is not deep carry at all versus probably the, you know, the three quarter or half inch you get on this side. So, yeah, that, that's a gripe. I, I wish they would kind of redo this with all the different i5s and i5ts. They have dropping i5rs. But that's, I, you know, that's my only gripe. And if you get a rechargeable battery, not, not a big deal. I've had that i5 for a long time, my i5t, and I didn't have these guys. I wasn't lucky enough for these. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was running through batteries quite a bit. So this is a blessing, them finally doing this. Um, I know it's but they've been doing it for a while, but I'm just speaking generally. It, it's that's so much better. You're not running through batteries like crazy. That that's my only gripe with these lights. I love these lights. I love how round they are. I love how good they fit in your hand. The the machine work feels good. The milling feels good. It gives you a nice grip. Hold it like a pin. Hold it like a tactical light. Hold it like however you want to call this. This is how I hold it a lot of times. Um, but that's, that's you know, that's that's about it. That's about my only gripe. And, you know, this one's purple. Purple's cool. Purple's cool. We'll see if my wife steals it or if my brother steals it first. Um, but, anyways, let me know what you think about this light in the comments below. Uh, Happy New Year once again. I hope everybody had a great night. Uh, definitely check the links I have in the description below. I do have a link for Olight that if you are new to Olight or if you would like to make a purchase and you use my link, I get a small commission. Uh, it's just to help the channel. I'm still growing. So if you if you wanted to use it, I appreciate it. If not, totally cool. I appreciate you watching the video. 
uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing. I do my best to post daily. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you on the next one.